hello friends welcome back to our discussion of kurnu model so in the last lecture i have showed you the derivation of equilibrium parameters of the kurnu model in today's lecture i will talk about comparative statics of the kurnu model and by comparative statics i mean that what happens when i am changing one of the variables in the kurnu model how this equilibrium parameters are going to change so let us look at the comparative statics of the kurnu model so if you remember that uh, we had our uh, inverse demand function given as p is equal to alpha minus q and q was nothing but the market quantity which were summation of the individual quantities that are being supplied by both the firms and alpha was the parameter from where the demand curve is starting so you see that uh, this is alpha here so at this suppose that at price p1 people were demanding quantity q1 now when we say that increase in market demand it means at the same price p1 people are now demanding much more q2 at price p2 they were demanding only this much q2 dash now they are demanding q2 double dash so you see that demand is increasing quantity demanded is increasing for every price this is the increase in the market demand so now let us uh, look at the equilibrium parameters of the kurnu model so what were the equilibrium parameters so equilibrium parameters were the quantities produced by both the firms so q1 star was equal to q2 star was equal to alpha minus c upon 3 uh and the total quantity in the market at equilibrium was 2 by 3 alpha minus c where alpha was the intercept of the demand curve and c is the average cost of production or marginal cost because we have assumed there is no fixed cost the equilibrium price in the market was given as p star is equal to alpha plus 2c upon 3 if you have uh, if you are missing how we reached all these uh, parameters please look back at the kurnu uh, model that i discussed in the last lecture so that you revives everything now uh, the price for both the firms were sorry profit for both the firms were given as pi1 star is equal to pi2 star is equal to alpha minus c whole square upon nine okay so now we know this so let us see what is happening here so i hope now you have noticed that the parameter alpha is entering in the numerator everywhere so see now uh, it is in numerator here it is in numerator here it is in numerator here and everywhere it's entering in positive sense so uh, with any increase in these numerators these parameter then i should have an increase in my overall value of the numerator and with that increase my quantity produced by individual form should increase total quantity produced should increase price should increase and so should the profit so we realize that as the parameter alpha is increasing to alpha 1 that is the market demand is increasing everything is increasing in the kurnu model be it quantities produced by both the firms be it the equilibrium price and be it the profits now what is the other thing that can change so other thing we had was c and what was c the average cost of production or marginal cost of production because there was no fixed cost so what happens when this cost of production c is decreasing now you can have this for increasing doesn't matter things will remain same only the direction of the effect will change 
So C is the average cost and also the marginal cost of production and this depends on the production function. So always the cost curves are derived from the production function. So when we have a better technology, then my production function will be better and my costs will be lower. So as technology improves, C decreases. So how does this affect uh, the equilibrium parameters in the Kurnu model? So now again look at the equilibrium parameters Q1 star is equal to Q2 star is equal to alpha minus C by 3. So you see here that our C is decreasing. So the value of this entire parameter is increasing. So we will have an increase in this and if this is increasing my Q star that was 2 upon 3 alpha minus c will also increase okay now what will happen to p see our p star was given as alpha plus 2c by 3 now my c is decreasing so this means this entire thing is going to decrease so the equilibrium price is going to decrease okay uh, now what is going to happen to the total uh, profits you can talk about individual forms profit or total profits it is just uh, doubling the individual forms profit or dividing by two to total profit so here what is happening again you see that C is decreasing here in the numerator so what is going to happen here that this entire portion this is also going to decrease uh, sorry increase because c is decreasing so this alpha minus c will increase and so will increase the square term of this so you see that with decrease in cost of production quantity produced in by individual firms as well as the total market quantity is increasing equilibrium price is decreasing and equilibrium profits are increasing so this way we see the uh, different uh, parameters how they change in the Kurnu model when we are changing our variables of the model that is one was uh, alpha that was the market demand parameter and second was the cost of production C so this is it uh, so stay tuned we will come back with more videos so uh, thanks for watching and bye